Hello my beautiful buddies, long time no see, I know, and we are going to talk about that in just a moment, but I want to introduce this build. So I have decided to make a roller rink for my save file. Um, I'm putting it in Ronaville, which we had been working on um, for the new high school pack. So I know the new high school pack um, is um, having its own world and things like that, but however, I thought in honor of the new pack, I would build a new lot that's good for young adults or teens because there isn't really a lot to do, I guess, for a bunch of age groups. Um, and I thought, hey, this was such a unique idea because there isn't really a lot type for roller rinks or anything like that, but I thought it could be fun because um, I know that there's bowling night stuff, which is something... I guess kind of similar like an activity to do i don't know if your sims will autonomously go skating um but you might have to put them in a group to do that but i think it would still be fun to have this pack especially too because uh i made it a teen hangout in honor of the new pack but if you don't want it to be that you can always take it off i just thought it was a bit of fun to do that um and uh, i guess we'll have like a new boba bar so if you prefer changing it to boba to like even make it even more like friendly to that pack then you could but otherwise it is a normal bar you can just pretend they're like um mocktails or something like that if you're using it for a younger age group um than young adults anyway um i want to speak to you guys a little bit about my absence so as you guys can probably see i have been very MIA on the channel lately and I just want to give my biggest apology to you guys because I like really disappeared and I just didn't like say anything for months and I did make a little post about this over on the channel um, in like the community section so you guys might have seen that um, but I do want to give my utmost apologies um, and I don't want to make any excuses but I feel like over these past nine ish months or however long i've been i have became so incredibly busy um so when i was in college i made this channel and i don't know why but i thought oh when i get out of college i'm gonna have more time more time <laughs> to go ahead and the chant like you know like record and do things like that because i won't be doing homework all the time but I haven't realized how difficult that has been with living back at home because um, I did move back at home and like my um, family is always here and things like that so I guess it would have been a different story if I moved out alone um, which I'm hoping to do someday um, but for the current time being um, it has been a little bit more difficult and um, I've I, I don't know I just haven't had the best like life work because <laughs> as and like fun schedule because um yeah i i um was in my friend's wedding she asked me to be in her wedding and that was going on for quite a while um and and then almost immediately um i went on this vacation that um this vacation that family vacation we've been like planning to go on for like a few years now since before covid happened um and i've only recently my schedule has been freed up um, and now I'm in another wedding <laughs> so I have been quite busy but I think over the course of months I've realized how much I've really missed the sims and I think in doing so I think I just told myself I need to focus on me and things I guess I need to do at the moment like you know like working and doing all that fun and stuff which is not really that fun um and then you know worrying about the channel later and in doing so i think it just kind of made me really i guess miss you guys so i guess i'm reevaluating that idea and that i really um just need to find you know a happy medium between doing the things i have to do and having i guess a social life and my channel um so yeah i did want to apologize um but no i didn't forget about you guys i always think about you guys so so much um but yeah i think sometimes i just needed that time to like just do the things i have to do and just get back to it when i need to um 
I'm not gonna tell you guys um, about any schedules right now because obviously with the channel having a schedule has been a little bit difficult for me um, but I'm going to try to like not just completely disappear for, for like months and months and months at a time um, I think that's a thing that I could say um, but I'm going to slowly get into it because I do have a lot on my plate still however um, I do really miss you guys and I want to give this a full shot because I just remember when I started my channel on how much how much I loved, 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 loved recording every day. Well, not every day, like every week for you guys. And I just still really miss it. And I, I feel like a part of me has not like let myself down, but like, come on. It's like, we, this is like all we look forward to. And, and now it just feels like I've had like so little time to like do the things that make me I guess like excited but I'm still excited about it. does that make sense I don't think I'm really making sense but like I basically am saying that like my priorities have been a little bit different and um, I want this still to be a big part of I guess you know who not like who I am I think that's like a little dramatic but like you know I still want this to be a big part of what is important to me and it is important to me um, so we're going to slowly ease back into it we're gonna slowly ba ease back into it and plus we gotta finish Ronaville you know we gotta finish the save file the save file is awesome it's popping in case you guys haven't known I have this amazing save file which I have made um, Sims 2 World so we've done Pleasant View we've done Strange Town I am in the process of Ronaville and I've made some really great progress for, with Ronaville I have another build that I did months ago and I've recorded oh, recorded it and like made the thumbnail for some reason I never posted it I have no idea why I'm like stupid like that well I'll finish a video and then I won't post it but I am going to post it and we are going to see it um, but yeah, <laughs> so if you see it in like the the background of me talking, like seems like I've done it months ago, that is why. But anyway, now that we're seven minutes into the video, <laughs> let's actually talk about this um, lot because this is a really interesting one. It's really colorful. It's quite retro, um, and what inspired it? So. Um, I was watching Stranger Things and I think there was a roller rink in there and I thought oh my god This would be so much fun to like make a build in The Sims because If I remember correctly in The Sims 2 there was a roller rink there was a roller rink However, I am not sure what it the lot was actually called So if you guys are watching this and you know what the lot is actually called Please comment down below because I would love to rename my lot whatever that lot's name is, but I just couldn't figure it out. I just, I tried to do my research, I tried to look for it, I couldn't find this one out. So I just decided to name it, um, like the Rollerama or something like that in honor of like the, what the actual like roller rink was called in The Sims 2. Um, so yeah, I thought that was kind of fun and interesting and I was able to use all these like funky colors and tiles and things like that. So it was really like retro and 80s themed kind of thing um and i thought it would just be fun for again the new pack that's about to come out um because we have some um video games in the corner and we got like a retro stereo and then we got um the roller rink and then um we got the little like barish area and yeah so this was used to be the old narwhal arms in get together and um but i have since then changed it to to be this kind of um retro roller rink bar kind of situation and yeah I, I normally never use like a ton of colors like this so it was really fun for me to like go ahead and do that i even made like a special area i guess that you would like you know rent your skates over in the corner and stuff like that so i like kind of thought about everything i did move the bathrooms because this this like i guess previous building had a really weird bathroom situation where like the men's was downstairs and women's was upstairs so I was like that's that's dumb let's just make it one big floor and we move the bathrooms and I did that so I hope you guys really do enjoy this this lot because it was it's kind of a weird one but I still enjoyed like I guess all the colorfulness and putting 
I don't know, like, thought into it just because I think this is a really fun lot to, like, have your sims just go do something different than, like, just having them go out to eat or something. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy that one. I also replaced in the front over there, um, there used to be, like, a fake, what is it, a fake wishing well, and I put the real one in there because I was like, why not put the real one and have, like, actual gameplay? Um, and then I have these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful church windows. And I think that's from the Spellcaster pack. Um, so I'm assuming at one point this was like an old church that got converted to a whole bunch of different things. Um, and now it is a, a roller rink bar kind of situation. And yeah, I think it fits so well with the rest of the world, even though I have like obviously made a few changes to this building and things like that. Um, it's already up on the gallery if you guys don't want to wait for the whole save file. My gallery tag is the Rosebud Simmer. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys like this one. Let me know what you guys think of the new pack that's about to come out. I know that there's some um, EA Game Changers. I don't think we don't we're not called EA Game Changers anymore. We're called like EA Network Creators or something like that now. Um, yeah, I'm still part of the program. I just haven't and I still kept up with all of like the packs. I just have been just a little quiet lately. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for 3,000 subscribers and oh my god, we hit like 14,000 like views on my last video. That's insane. I'm going to do definitely some more like listing videos for you guys since you guys love the challenge thing that you guys ate that up and thank you guys for supporting me all this time even when I may not have deserved it oh, you stay even when you want to walk away when times get bad we can learn to love what we have I don't want to let you down